I would like to thank everybody associated with the Indian Mill Society, whether it's uh, the textile associations, the textile mills, our well wishers, our service providers, just for everybody um, for being a part of Indian Mill Society. It's been a great privilege working with everybody, and uh, I trust that the association long continues uh, with Indian Mill Society forever and ever. I believe that the intent and goodwill of all our forefathers and leaders was so pure that even after four decades, India ITME society still continues to be blessed with leadership where each chairman has surpassed the previous in commitment, contribution, leadership taking the institution to unimaginable heights, further heights, to uncharted waters, taking the risk. A gentle demeanor, radiating an aura of comfort and humility. This best describes the persona of Shri S. Hari Shankar, Chairman, India ITME Society from 2017 to 2023. I want to say that Mr. Harishankar is the immediate past chairman of India ITME Society 2017-2023 and he has been a chairman of Textile Machinery Manufacturers Association India TMMA for the year 2011 and 12. I would say with so much of challenges and the uncertainties which prevailed. I think Mr. Anishanka put up with the patience. What is a life lived well? Then the answer changes and it definitely is not measured that measured in the wealth or power you have uh, uh, you have and uh, uh, any other position you have garnered in this life. So friends, I am now with the longest serving chairman of India IT Society, Sri Hari Shankar. Officially today is his farewell. Thank you sir for giving us time. You have had a wonderful legacy and set unprecedented benchmarks for India IT Society and for the new chairman to follow. Sir, please give us a brief background about your role, how it has been, how your journey has been in the last 10 years. What have been the key milestones in this journey? I, th I think, uh, you know, 10 years is a long journey for anyone to endure as in a public course. But, uh, you know, things were unprecedented because of the global pandemic where, uh, you know, we were standstill for two years in the middle and uh, we had to delay our events because, you know, we could not have public gather gatherings and such. So I had to extend my term basically because the exhibitions had to be uh, reset to a different year. Yeah. We were originally meant or scheduled to do our exhibition in 2020, but um, because of the pandemic, we didn't. We could not host it until 2022. So when we eventually hosted it in 2022, we went to a brand new venue in uh, Noida. Yeah. So there was a lot of uncertainty when we came out of the pandemic. You know, we had 
opinion of the future, what the future held, whether you know we would be able to have large public gatherings or we couldn't. Uh, but luckily, you know, everything fell in place, and we had a dedicated team. We had plans in place. We went to a new center, and with all our planning and hard work, uh, our exhibition can be compared to anything Absolutely. anywhere in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, how, how would you see the evolution of the textile engineering industry over these last 10 years? It, it has grown rapidly. A lot of evolution has taken place. What have been the key drastic, uh, you know, things which we have seen in these last 10 years, which has set the pace for the industry? I, I think, uh, you know, the equipment is more modern. There's a little more AI involved. Um, a lot of uh, robotics that have come into the equipment. Uh, and, uh, you know, the speeds of the machinery are increasing, um, increased uh, productivity, capacity expansion. Uh, so the future is very bright. And uh, I think all of the engineering sector has to keep abreast and keep innovating technology and be up, uh, keep pace with it so that India continues to be on the world map and in the future. This should be the global hub for textiles. Absolutely, and sir, under your uh, tenure, uh, India it may also did a lot of uh, you know initiatives to internationalize the Indian industry. You reached out to the international markets associations, forums. You even organized India um, uh, it may Africa series. So please tell us more about so, that. Yeah, so um, Africa is the last untapped market. So we at Indian Peace Society believe that there's a lot of future there because a lot of population in Africa are young, they're very aspiring, they are internet driven. So, and there's a population that's vast, rapidly growing. So it's important that we put Indian textiles and textile machinery on the map in Africa in the early stages before it really develops so that we are there when it's at its peak. So we, we were the first to enter uh, with India ITME Africa in 2020 and subsequently we hosted our second event just this past uh, December. So um, uh, we maybe the next term could see more international exhibitions and events but um, as I just said I think the future is very bright. Okay. Finally sir any message that you would like to share with the industry at large? I, I would like to thank everybody associated with the India Me Society, with its uh, the textile associations, the textile mills, our well wishers, our service providers, just about everybody um, for being a part of India It Me Society. It's been a great privilege working with everybody, and uh, I trust that the association long continues uh, with the India It Me Society forever and ever. At the conclusion of my term, we meet here today and I carry with me a profound sense of pride in what we have all achieved together. So I wholeheartedly and sincerely thank you all.